Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate another application that I built, this time using a Microsoft Excel and VBA. Uh, again, this application, all the labels are in Greek because it was built for a Greek customer. And um, it is for holding and register the register of a, a warehouse uh, for a tourist shop because the customer had a tourist shop and he wanted to have a at any specific point in time, he wanted to know how many shoes he had in his warehouse, uh, which shoes uh, sell the most, and uh, some other statistics that we're going to discuss in a, in a few moments. But let's take it from the beginning. So, let's open it up. The thing that I love uh, writing code in Excel is that you can almost write entire small application of course but uh, it's good that everything is organized I mean every tab in here is a uh, data that is being used by the application and it's all integrated in one file that makes it very light and uh, very com uh, portable so in here it's the database of issues it's actually one table and each record is being described by, by this information. This is the code, this is a number and not a number, the brand, the description, the color and the sizes. This is a, uh, yes. Um, for instance, this tells me that I have 138 for 544. I don't have any 43s in that color, so on and so forth. And uh, this simple table help me helps me keep uh, my database uh, uh, intact. And this is uh, the uh, the register. There's a small typographical error here, orthographical. It slipped. In here, for every day, we keep a record of all the shoes that were sold at that specific day. So for each shoe, I called uh, the brand, this is brand, the code, some extra information maybe for the future, the color, the size, and the, the price of the salesman, of the, of the salement, of the sale, excuse me. And uh, in here I keep uh, the total amount for that day, which is uh, being uh, updated dynamically. And I keep this for all, for all days. And these are some uh, dummy data, some of them are true, some of them were uh, put later for uh, demonstration and testing purposes. So let's uh, let's uh, make an example. In here, dynamically, I update this menu. So let's say, for instance, that I select this brand. So you see that all the other menus are being updated. So all star, and I choose this the same, and the color. You may notice that if I select this code again update we only have one color for this code and we have several for this so let's select this one and let's say that uh, we're selling a green size 40 and the price is 25 so we hit sold the button sold do you want me to, con to co continue yes and success so now if I go to here I can see that I sold this one. This brand is code green 40 and my total has been updated. Uh, again, um, every time I, I bring something inside, I hit this button here. So if for instance, let's say that from the bigger warehouse, because this program was developed for the local warehouses. If for instance, we have a bigger warehouse where we give shoes to all the smaller warehouses so let's say that uh, the driver comes and he brings this code and he brings three shoes a 38 a 39 and a 41 so we hit entrance and the database is now being updated and every time we, ex uh, we exit something from the, uh, the warehouse either it is broken or uh, it has uh, been landed to another warehouse we hit extraction here and it continues let's say yes and 
is updated and the database is being updated every time we hit any of these three buttons here again there's a typographical error here uh, the Greeks uh, who is uh, who are seeing the video are probably <laughs> aware of it uh, in here there are the shoes that are missing so let's see for instance for this code I'm missing these shoes for this code these shoes etc and here is the print if I want to print for uh, to have a so the driver will go to the warehouse and bring me the shoes that are missing and here it's to go back this is again the uh, the days the register and the diagrams I think this is uh, the most useful uh, sheet of all because for a sales manager perspective this gives him or a general manager of uh, the the tourist shop gives him a full uh, picture of what is being sold um, here I have a small for some reason it's a bug I think yeah the dates are don't appear correct I don't know why this is a uh, this is anyway this is supposed to be a date but for some reason now in my PC it doesn't appear correct so uh, this is the total this for each day so for this date it was 729 euros the next day it was 2297 and so on and so forth so it gives you a total uh, picture of how the store is doing and you can see and you can take action maybe change some marketing strategies or uh, change uh, the prices a little bit and in here you can see which colors for for from every codes are doing better so we can see that the most uh, popular color is white then it's uh, black with 34 shoes being sold then I think it's gray then it's green and so forth so for instance we can see that uh, this color or uh, the bronze is not doing very well some action must be taken maybe not bring it in the next season or uh, try to lower the price uh, in here are some uh, uh, from values for instance this is the daily profits 920 euros this is the daily the average daily profits 220 and this is the total profits from the beginning of the season till today 7245 euros and this uh, in this diagram here uh, we can compare codes here we see that uh, our most popular code uh, shoe code uh, that is is the all-star with 108 sales and then the smaller ones is uh, this one with five sales only three etc these again are uh, dummy data only for comparison sake and uh, let's say that I want to compare I don't want to compare all the codes but I want to compare only a few so I, s I hit deselect all and then I select this one and maybe this one so I see that uh, some action must be taken again for this shoe because the the sale value is only five that means only five shoes were were sold so and these two buttons are not are in my to-do list these are supposed to be the most um, popular codes if you hit it it would show only the most popular and if you hit this one the least popular it would uh, select only the codes that are not doing so well and uh, the last is uh, for a statistical for only one code so if we select this code and let's say this code may matter so for this code only I can see some statistics for instance for this code what is the most popular color and I can see it's white with 21 sales then it's uh, green with 14 then it's gray with 13 and so forth and in here in this diagram in this uh, chart pie diagram I can see which sizes sell the most so I can see that 28% of the shoes it's size 40 28% it's size 39 and 28% it's 38 and then the least popular it's uh, 41 36 and 37 and again I can see for instance for the white let's see how it's moving daily again a bug from for by our sweet Excel so I can see that our daily uh, 
sale number is one except for uh, this date uh, I think it's uh, uh, June 11th that it will sold three so the sale manager can have a general uh, picture of uh, how this color is doing if you wanted to and then if you can compare let's say uh, white with green and we can see that it's uh, not doing so well because we can see many zero values except for uh, this day that had three this two so maybe the, the white is doing better than the green and these are some uh, general values again this is the total sales for this code 315 this is the average sale price 23.5 euros this is the average size the mod that is a uh, 37 is the size that is the most popular one and uh, these are the profits the total profits 2350 euros and all all of my data are being stored down here which are dynamically updated every time uh, the sheet is uh, selected or uh, I select this one or I uh, update this later uh, these graphs the data are being updated uh, dynamically so it is a very small it took me about uh, two days to build the basic skeleton and then five to six working days just a bug here or there uh, to when we were using it in practice it took me about five working days it's uh, and of course the true dynamic it's uh, the visual basic that it has in the back it was my first time writing uh, code writing I mean a big big it's not very big but it's a medium application uh, in, in Excel and I can say that it was uh, I was very amazed with the power that it gives you I mean uh, uh, you can harvest the power of Excel just by writing a few uh, lines of code and it's uh, truly amazing the things that you can do and in the amount of time that you can do it so my biggest code was here these are the diagrams as you can see is it's, uh, it's a bit, it's a little much, it's about uh, 400 lines. So that was uh, my small presentation. I hope uh, you liked it. See you in the next time. Take care.